Now this is Rooty Toot Jasperson. He had the newest bike in the bunch and he was as proud of it as he could be. He made it a point to get in the lead and there he intended to stay. It would seem that Rooty Toot was a slam bang go-getter headed for big things in life, right? Right. But when you have to be first all the time, there are a few things you find you don't have time for. Such things as making hand signals. Oh, he knew very well that bike riders are supposed to signal just like auto drivers. Hand down for slow or stop. Hand up for right turn. Hand straight out for left turn. But pretty soon, he began to feel silly making so many signals to stay out in front. So he skipped one to rest his poor old tired arm. Just one signal, once. At this point, Rooty Toot Jasperson left the party. This charming little thing was actually christened Tinkerbell MacDilling Fiddy. She's a sweet and lovely girl, but she has a rather poor memory. Sometimes she forgets to brush her teeth. Sometimes she leaves homework at home. And sometimes she forgets to look at traffic signals. Now she knows that she should. She knows that she should ride just like auto drivers drive. But she's so busy being happy all the time that her little thoughts tend to wander and, oh dear, dear, they're wandering again. Mm -hmm. Here she goes. Exit Tinkerbell MacDilling Fiddy. Now, let me introduce Philip Flugel. He's a star athlete, the president of his class, an honor student, and he has the handsomest profile in school. Just look at it, will you? Now, Flug, as his friends call him, has one little flaw in his character. He is very easily bored. Right now, he's asking himself why everyone has to go up this side of the street. It's so samey. So, proving that even a class president can make mistakes, he decided to ride against traffic. Oh, he knows that auto drivers never do this, and that he should follow the very same traffic rules. But he's in the mood to do something different. Anyway, there are no policemen around to see him. Philip Flugel is no longer bored. If you look carefully, you'll see Trigby Phipps. He's the smaller one in Eclipse trying to make that bike go. His passenger is an old friend of ours, Slim Jim McGuffney. Slim Jim's bike recently collapsed from the effects of his diet, and Trigby, being a nice little fellow, agreed to ride him. Now, he knows that no auto driver would drive with a passenger in his lap. He also knows that you can't see ahead very well with someone on the handlebars, and that you can't control the bike well, and that you can't make signals either. Furthermore, it is tiring, right? Right. So long, fellas. There seems to be a flaw in the buddy system. Meet Nellie Swybach. She's as nice as can be on foot. But when she gets on that bike, sweet Nellie becomes terribly impatient with other people's driving. Although there are only a few left now, she's having trouble sharing the street with them. So, Nelbert is about to make a decision she'd never make if she weren't angry. There she goes. There she goes. She knows that riding on the sidewalk isn't allowed in her city and many others, and that even where it is, pedestrians always have the right of way. But Nelbert's upset, and she'd like to know just one good reason why she shouldn't take over the sidewalk all to herself.
and Albert Zweibach got her one good reason. Those noise of transportation are Philbert Bagel. Philbert hates his old bike. He refuses to take care of it because his folks will probably give him a new one for his birthday. He can't see any reason for taking care of a heap of junk, even if he made it that way himself. He will in a moment, though. You see, he doesn't know it, but he'll find out that there's not a shred of a break left. Now, Philbert would be the first to agree that if it's worth riding, it's worth taking care of. Quickly meet Stanislaw Higginbottom while you can. He's a nice boy, but he won't be with us long. You are now looking straight at Stanislaw Higginbottom. He has neither lights nor reflectors. Stanislaw just wasn't quite bright enough. This was Rudy Toot uh, Jasperson. Maybe you remember why he didn't make the picnic. He didn't signal, just once. Do you recall Tinkerbell, McDilling Fiddy? She forgot to watch the signals, just once. And good old Phil Flugel, he rode up the wrong side of the street. What? The small one was Trigby Phipps, and his passenger was Slim Jim McGuckney. They rode double into trouble. Who can forget Nelbert Swyback? She wanted to know one good reason why the sidewalks didn't belong to her. Then there was Philbert Bagel. He didn't take care of his brakes, so? They didn't take care of him. And good old Stanislaw Higginbottom. No lights, no reflector, no Stanislaw. <laughs>